Hey, welcome back to the second part of this video tutorial series. So as I mentioned earlier, in this part we're going to use the command manipulate from Mathematica to analyze the trans function in real time. So the first uh, couple of things we need to do is define uh, the basic um, variables such as the natural frequency of the circuit. It's 1 over 2 pi times LC and this needs to be square root again for clarity I'm just going to put the asterisk for the in multiplication part just to be clear Make sure you terminate your statement with a semicolon or else this will cause an error in the manipulate function. So omega naught is the rate uh, is radians per second. This is frequency in hertz per second. Hertz, sorry not per second, the cycles per second, so it hurts. So Q is the quality factor of the uh, low pass. It's defined as the natural frequency in radians per second times L over R. So more, the more of R you have, the more resistance you have in your circuit, the more damping it has, so the lower the Q. So the, there's less peaking. Next, I'm going to define the frequency at which the maximum peaking occurs, which is surprisingly not at the natural frequency. And you'll see the point later on when I actually plot this thing. And this, uh, and this thing is all under a square root. And we need to define also the pole frequency. So this is a second order circuit. So there's two poles. And they both are at this frequency. Uh, so it actually is, looks similar to this, but this is 4 and so 2. FP is the imaginary projection, the projection of the natural frequency onto the imaginary axis in the S plane. Remember, in the S plane, you have the imaginary axis as the, the y axis, and, and the real axis is on the x axis. And then let's go ahead and define a naught as one over LC. This is the same thing as omega naught, the natural frequency. And this is call let's define a variable called a max. This is the maximum amplitude of peaking. This is a naught times Q divided by omega naught squared times the square root of 1 minus 1 over 4 times A naught square and if if you're a uh, if you're interested you actually when you analyze this and you let 
when when omega naught is pretty big, like in the megahertz or whatever range, then this whole term basically converges to just Q. Over, yeah, it just becomes Q because a naught. This term is really big. Uh, yeah, just FYI. So let's. So the next uh, few things we need to do is define a few lines, uh, vertical lines that we will use uh, to indicate the position of these three frequency: uh, F zero, the natural frequency, the maximum frequency, and the pole frequency. Line style. We use line style to define some options. Thick, red, dashed. We need three lines with three different colors. This is spelled wrong. So let's go ahead and copy this down and make this one blue. and make this one black. And then redefine our lines using a line command. F max Times one point five. Okay, and then make sure you use your curly brackets around this also. So let me explain what's going on here. So we're trying to apply a line, the vertical line that that is located at x equals to f max, and the y and y one is start at minus ten and it goes to Q times one point five. So we want a line that actually covers the plot and then sum. Basically this line goes over the, the Q the, pe the maximum peaking Q is gonna go over that a little bit by 0.5 here. And the minus ten is because you have to I'm I'm gonna use a log log uh, log plot. So it, it keeps the line low around zero. And and you'll see that in a little bit. So the next part is pretty much straightforward. Just copy these two. Uh, that we need three lines total, right? So this becomes line two, line three, and this is F zero, F P, F zero, F P. Okay, I need to terminate this with the semicolon. All right. So that was uh, a lot of work. So next thing we need to find a few uh, labels, right? My string. You know what? Um, let's forget about the labels for now, and let's go ahead and work on the plot, and then we we'll go back to the labels so that it'll make more sense. So let's begin with our log plot. We're going to take the magnitude using ABS of our function we defined earlier. F R L C S the input. And then F go from zero to F zero times two. So we're gonna plot uh with frequency ranging from zero to the twice the natural frequency. Alright. Um <clears throat> so the next thing we need to do is
actually outsized here. Well, oh, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be a uh, using Prudency, not curly braces. So be careful there. That got me kind of a little confused. But okay, so an easier way to do this is. Oops. Actually, do like this, so you don't get confused. So we need to add those lines in. Epilog. So these are options to our log plot that we can add. Directive function here. And we add line style we made earlier. One. Line one. And we repeat this for three of them. Change this number into two, 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 three, three. I made a mistake there. So let's go ahead and so this is the end of the log plot and this is the end of the manipulate func function. Let's go ahead and define the plot range. Zero. Well, this is going to be a really long video. I just noticed that. I'm just double checking my statement here. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up our manipulate command. So we need to terminate a comma here. So R go from zero. We define the range for R, two hundred, and this can be any arbitrary range that you desire. But for for this demo, we're just gonna do this. And next defines for C. Let's do from one nanofarad to two nanofarad. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, execute this command and hopefully it works. Okay, so here's our plot and we can change the parameters and you notice it's changing the position of the natural frequency, the pole frequency, and the peaking frequency. Maximum, uh, the frequency at which ma you have maximum peaking. That changes, all of them change uh, in real time. So you can play around with that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, finish this part. Uh, here and this part here and in the next video if you're interested I'm I'm gonna go over the uh, to make this thing look nicer like adding labels dynamic titles and actually displaying the frequency at which is all of these uh, frequency like the actual numbers the values that you actually get from this uh, this plot so thanks for watching uh, please comment and let me know what you think. Uh, Alright, see you next in the next video.